Okay, this is a video to um, help you understand how to find the critical value using table F for a right tailed test. So, get a visualization here, you can kind of see that, you know, if we were set up on a normal distribution, we're looking to establish uh, what is that critical value. So, what is this critical value right here that establishes our critical region and then our non-critical region and so to find that we start off and we have to identify our n so our sample size for this particular problem is n that means that our degrees of freedom which is equal to n minus 1 would be equal to 10 minus 1 or 9 we have an alpha or a significance level of 0 0.05 so we bring our table f into play here and take a look and see that according to table F um, we have a degrees of freedom of 9 so we're going to be starting down here we have a one tailed test with a level of significance of 0 0.05 so from there we would then establish by coming across and finding where that meets And so at this point, we would see that our critical value for a sample size of 10, a degrees of freedom of 9, and a significant level of 0 0.05 or 5% would be positive 1.833. Remember again that your Z scores or your, your standardized scores on the right hand side of the mean so this is our mean of our standard normal distribution our Z scores to the right would be positive and our Z scores to the left would be negative 